Ahoy! Round two. Have yet to do another one of these since, and since I enjoyed the first one, I thought to myself, why not do another? I quite enjoyed uh, talking to myself, or at least in front of a camera. So today I'm going to be talking about crypto day trading, and I'll tell you what inspired this. I just had a conversation with a fellow who's going to do some work at a house, and he said he lost money in 2010 because of a crowd called the Bitcoin Company. So you do a little bit of digging and you find out actually it's um, some sort of rogue crypto trading firm. And so I thought what I'll do is I'll just put together like a some thoughts. These are just random thoughts that I'm having in relation to crypto trading um, off the cuff because it's something that I've encountered time and time again. The more I speak to people, the more obvious it's a problem. Um, for some other reason, uh, across all my other social media channels, I'm constantly retargeted for crypto trading and i can't believe this actually exists i can't believe that there are people out there that are actually selling these types of services as if they're contributing positively to society or people's lives they are net extractive they are not helpful and i hope to kind of outline some thoughts as to why that might be the case so big picture crypto or stocks whatever the asset class is generally there's a phrase that says it's about time in the market, not timing the market. The one speaks to an investment mindset. The other speaks to a trader mindset. And traders usually get wrecked over a long enough time horizon. Very, very few people are able to consistently outperform the market if they had just simply held it in some random index fund like the S&P 500. Literally, they'd be better off just sticking their money and parking it in a passive ETF than if they had to go and literally actively day trade every day of their lives. So the first misnomer is, is quite simple. Trading is hard. It is difficult and it is not something that the average person is capable of doing. I'm going to pull up some studies because I thought I got to kind of back this up with some data. So I'm going to pull up some studies and just say, okay. Let's have a look at what are some term successes. So day trading. All right. So day trading, according to this particular report over here, 13% um, of day traders were consistently profitable, profitable over a six month period. Okay. According to a different survey, only 1% of day traders were able to consistently make money over a period of five years. Okay. Traders sell winners at a 50% higher rate than losers. 60% of sales are winners, while 40% of sales are losers. The average individual investor underperforms a market index by 1.5% per year. Active traders underperform by 6.5% annually. And you might go, well, what 6.5%? Try and figure out what the effect of 6.5% is compounded every single year. All right, so that is the one. Let's have a look. What else? Um, I'll show you another. Let's have a look at another one, shall we? This is from Motley Crew. Motley, um, what call themselves? The Motley Fool. Okay, so he said long term investing versus day trading. Okay, absolutely. All right, so how does it work? Blah, 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 blah. The magic of compounding. Remember, compounding works in reverse. Okay. What is your success between that? One study of 66,000 US households with investment accounts showed that investors who traded in and out of the share market underperformed the average market return significantly. People who traded the most earned an annual return of 11.4% compared to the market's return of 17.9%. The study's conclusion does not mince words. Our central message is that trading is hazardous to your wealth. <laughs> Another study on the fate of day traders in Brazil found a mind-blowing 97% of individuals who persisted with day trading for more than 300 days lost money. Only 1.1% earned more than the Brazilian minimum wage. You can't actually make this up. Literally can't make this up. Okay. And I have not even touched on the tax implications. Every single time you get in and out of a position, you're paying capital gains tax at the full rate. You don't get a discount. If you held it for more than 12 months, you get a discount. That's not even something that I was even planning to talk about, but there it is. It's an absolute train wreck. 
Is there any more evidence? Maybe there is. Let's have a look at another study, shall we? Um, all right. Day trading success. This is from a crowd called datasciencesociety.net. That's about a 4% success rate as a source of income. Um, 10 to 15% of prop firm trainees could make some money through day trading. Um, but it's enough. It's not enough to warrant their time. Okay. Once again, another study saying this is not worth the time. Finally, what is the... Okay, well, we've done it all. We've done it all. I've given all the takes. I mean, so here's the thoughts here. Okay. It's pretty simple. Trading is for losers. The only people that think trading is... A good idea are people with high time preference thinking. These are people who prioritize the immediate over the future. These are people who are effectively gambling. You don't have an asymmetry of information. You don't have an edge. And therefore, the chance that you'll outperform the market over any meaningful period of time is almost zero. Everyone tends to overestimate their abilities. They tend to think they're smarter than they really are. You're not. The reality is that it's a total waste of time. What does this have to do with crypto? Crypto is exactly the same. Crypto is completely, it is it is even worse than trading stocks because at least with stocks, there's a degree of disclosures. Okay. The first thing is crypto has, there is no inherent use case or benefit or value add or product market fit, none of the above. The second thing is that it's a game for insiders. Those who came in early have a disproportionate share of the network and they can change the rules and they can dump and pump and dump and pump and do whatever they want. They can go short, they can go long, they can manipulate the market and change the rules as they seem fit because they do not need to make any disclosures. So from that perspective, crypto is even worse. It's even more volatile, which means that you're even more likely to lose your shirt. I mean, People these days have got such high time preferences, they actually start thinking in terms of how do I do 100x this week? It's just completely and utterly ridiculous to think in those terms. It's so high time preference gambling mindset. It's beyond me. I don't understand how normal people can think like that. So when you see someone coming along and saying, I've got a trading course in crypto, and this is going to be able to set you free, it just smacks of grifting because anybody who knows anything about any market would say to you, stay the hell away. I've been so unfortunate to get repeated calls from a crowd here. And it's not just the fact that they're trying to encourage you to buy their course, which if they were so good, why would they just be making money themselves? Why are they selling you such a why are they selling you a course for the first, you know, in the first instance? But the reality is is that it is a grift. And what they actually want to do is they want to encourage you to trade crypto on, wait for it, leverage. So what they'll do is they'll say, oh, here's Tony. I'm putting on the accent. Here's Tony. Tony got 500. He got a 500% return in two weeks. Okay. You don't know what else Tony failed at. Secondly, Tony, to get that return, had to do like 10x leverage on some stupid dog coin. What on earth does he know about the fact that that is actually going to work or not? It strikes me as just utter gambling. Anybody who says they're going to trade, they're going to help you learn how to trade crypto is scamming you. Save your money, buy Bitcoin, stop wasting time, and just start learning about the soundest asset that's ever existed, the scarcest asset that's ever existed, and that's Bitcoin. Get your slice of the network, look after it like your life depends on it, accumulate as much of it as you can, ignore the trading embarrassment that is the crypto trading people, and just start saving in sound money. Nobody who has held for a period of four years has had a return of less than 100%. Repeat, nobody has seen a return of less than 100%. They would have doubled their money over four years. That's called sustainable growth. 100x returns in a week on some dog coin, on some Princess Diana coin, whatever the hell's next. It's just not reality. Crypto trading is for losers. Bitcoin investing is for winners. People who prioritize the future, don't bother with crypto. Peace. <laughs>